In this video you will see how set up I extruder for solder paste dispensing. You will need a piece of paper napkin to clean the excess of solder paste from the dispensing needle, and few post-it type stickers for solder paste dispense trials. Please note that with the solder paste, you should use plastic dispensing needles. You can use red, pink and blue needles depending on the pad size. After mounting the syringe with solder paste into eye extruder, navigate to the left direction icon, on the OLED display with the help of main unit's left or right buttons, then press OK. Lead screw will start moving forward pushing the piston and will fill the dispensing needle with solder paste. Because of the inner pressure inside the syringe, solder paste will continue oozing from the needle's end. We will fix that, by adjusting the piston's pull-back amount. Select menu icon, and click OK button. After entering into the settings menu, select pull-back icon, and click OK. Press right button to increase the pull-back amount. Click OK button to confirm setting and save it to the eye extruder's memory, then try to spend some amount of solder paste on post it sticker. If full back amount is set correctly, eye extruder will apply a consistent amount of solder paste on each dot. After each adjustment you need to apply some solder paste on post it sticker, in order to check how new settings works. You will notice that solder paste stay at the very end of the dispensing needle, without any excess. If solder paste is continue oozing, increase the pull back amount. If solder paste is pulled back from the end of the dispensing needle, creating an air gap, you should decrease the pull back amount. In manual mode you can apply solder paste by dots of various sizes, and lines of various length. In dotted mode you solder paste could be applied by dots, of predefined by user sizes, and short lines. After finishing your work, navigate to the right direction icon, on the OLED display. Then press OK. Lead screw will start moving backward pulling the solder paste inside of the syringe. If you planning to work again on the same or next two days, you can keep the syringe in place, and protect solder paste from drying by wrapping the needle's end, with a short piece of electrical tape. Otherwise, you should unmount the syringe, close the back with the protection cap, remove the needle and screw the front cap. Then store the paste in cold place, at temperature from 2 to 10 degrees Celsius.